Hello everybody and welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Steve and today in the studio we have somebody from a company called Be Quiet. This is actually Chris. Chris, how are you doing, man? Good, good. Thanks. You? I'm um, very well. Thank you so much. I, I, I know that uh, Kyle kind of bumped into you at Computex, so uh, that kind of evolved into a nice uh, opportunity here at the studio, which is awesome. So thank exactly, you so much yeah. for coming in. Oh, thanks for having me. Oh, no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Right. Um, so there's a couple things we want to talk about today in terms of, of some things you've actually announced at Computex, but I kind of mm. want to start first by explaining to our viewers out there uh, uh, what Be Quiet is as a company and kind of what you guys stand for. So if you want to kind of just take it away from there, that'd be fine. All right, cool. Yeah, so Be Quiet um, is a company uh, well known for power supplies in Germany. Uh, we exist uh, since 2002. Nice. And um, yeah, we have a very nice uh, market share there in Germany since we are there for such a long time. And uh, we are in the U.S. for a year now. Nice. And um, yeah with a few power supplies, cooling solutions as well. So. so I've actually heard you guys are the number one uh, in Germany, actually since 2006, I want to say, yes. for PSU manufacturing, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. You guys are the best, or the most, in terms of sales, I should say, you guys are the number one uh, selling exactly. PSU in Germany. That's awesome. Uh, That's pretty good, yeah. So, so Be Quiet's a fairly uh, uh, special name, and there's a lot of, you know, maybe suggestiveness when you're talking about the company, you know, you're talking to somebody and, and they don't know you're talking about your company, like, you know, let's talk about be quiet. No, you be quiet. You be quiet. <laughs> so uh, we talked a little bit before we did this uh, interview and I wanted to know, you had a funny story about immigration. I made you stop in the middle of the story so I could actually hear it on camera. So what <laughs> happened in immigration when you were explaining where you where you worked? All right, yeah, I'm coming up to this immigration officer and uh, he asked me for a couple of questions, you know, um, what industry I'm working in. I said, mm -hmm. IT, you know, and uh, what's your company name? You know, they always try to get some information, you know, and I said, be quiet. And this guy, <laughs> this guy looks up to me, and he says, "What did you just say to me?" So he's pissed off. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it all right. So bizarre. what company, sir? Okay, yeah, be quiet. Excuse me. What did you just tell me? <laughs> exactly. Oh, he was pretty, pretty funny afterwards. I mean, he made a couple of jokes. You know, it was was pretty nice. I rescued the situation. I told him it's the company name, and I didn't mean him to be quiet. So <laughs> it was pretty good. So you're actually explaining to him too. So so be quiet. Clearly, you had to explain to him that it was about uh, a focus on silence. That's exactly. really the point of that, right? Exactly. Yeah, we do. Products that are usually noisy, we make a silent version out of it. So this is basically our awesome. company. Yeah. So, so German company. You, you know, first first thing pops in my head is German engineering. So, so that that term's thrown around a lot. You know, it's it's meant to to say that something's really high quality and you yeah. spend a lot of time on something. But, but in terms of the companies you've worked for in the past, even before Be Quiet, how do you feel about uh, that that term German engineering when it comes to Be Quiet itself? Um, yes, you have a different approach in, in, in the different companies and what I saw now in Be Quiet as a German company, you have this, this German engineering flowing around and, and actually the guys really are like this, you know, we are developing products with this uh, certain uh, meticulous uh, work to find, you know, to, to, to develop different parts, you know, in the, in the power supplies, for example. Mm -hmm. and. Um, yeah, that, that's something you guys just you take really seriously, and obviously, I've even heard to the point that, that you would actually stop uh, the manufacturing line for a moment just to make sure that you had a particular point corrected or a particular part corrected. It is, yeah, it is for the sales part. It's pretty annoying when the production line stops because you know you cannot deliver the product anymore. But right. um, when our engineers, we, we are we are testing the products on a constant base, and when the when the engineers found out, for example, that there is coil wine with a certain system set up, then um, yeah, they stop the product production line and uh, change parts. And um, yeah, it's, nice. it's pretty cool, but yeah, as I said, for the sales part. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So let's talk more about products now. So obviously you do uh, power supplies. Uh, what, are, what are some mm. of the brands and, and kind of what you're headed with with each one of those models, I should say, not brands? Um, yeah, we have, of course, since we are such a long time in Europe, uh, we have, of course, a, a, a broad uh, a portfolio that caters to basically every market. We have uh, system integration um, uh, power supplies called the system power. Then we have uh, entry level uh, versions, a uh, few ones actually. And then uh, we go to mainstream and high end. We have, we have quite a lot of uh, uh, products that, that specifically cater to a certain market. Excellent. But here in the US, since we are here for just one year, we brought just until now, we have uh, just three lines here. Okay. The Dark Power Pro 10, the, uh, which is the high end line. And then we have uh, the Power Zone, it's more like gaming oriented. Okay. And then the Pure Power line for entry level. So. Okay, excellent. So those are the three that you have right now. So, but, but at Computex, you actually announced in a brand new category. So now you guys are jumping into chassis, right? Yeah. 
So, uh, so brand new chassis. It, it looks pretty cool, actually. The first thing that popped in my mind. I know this is kind of strange. Is I, I imagine the the Tron outlines, the color outlines around the the uh, front bezel there, and yeah. uh, it just I don't know. That's what popped into my head. <laughs> I noticed it was three different colors. Uh, what the orange, uh, white, or silver? Silver, yeah, and black. Con and, the and total the black. chassis is always black, and you always have these uh, two lines in the front there. It's either nice. silver, black, or orange. Yeah. Yeah, and you also have maybe some ha highlights inside too for the rubber grommets I want to say as well. Exactly, yeah. We, okay. we changed, like, for example, the, the, the feet of the case um, and the insides, the rubber grommets, it's all uh, to all, the certain different match. colors, yeah. Excellent. And uh, the LED in the top, the, uh, the button, uh, is also, like for the orange version, we have of, uh, the, an orange LED. Excellent. So it's, it's so pretty I should, cool. I just realized really right now, guys, we actually need a, 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 a something in front of us to actually display most of this. So let me grab the laptop and we'll continue from, from that in just one moment. Now, through the magic of video editing, we have the laptop in front of us, and we're prepared to continue moving forward. So, Chris, I wanted to ask you, what is the name of the new chassis that you guys are, are working on that's under development right now? <laughs> we don't have an official name yet. Okay, that's fine. So, what are you guys using just in the office? The case, I'm guessing? The case. Okay, well, that <laughs> works. <It's>, yep. <laughs> the case will no be quiet. Don't confused. Yep. Yeah. Um, so... Then, because Be Quiet is, of course, aimed at silent operation, I'm imagining mm. that you're also aiming this product to be silent. Yes, that was our uh, main purpose, uh, main focus with this case, yeah, to have a really silent operating case. Okay, so what are some of the things that you've done to make this case maybe more silent than, than some of the others that are out there? Yeah, I mean, uh, we don't have any um, any open uh, openings in the case where the sound can travel out, uh, for example. You okay. have, um, yeah, every... Every opening has like a dampening kit in front of it, uh, and, and we divert the air that uh, it cannot directly go out or go in a, into the case. So directly, so no straight shot out. It's got to bounce off dampening, exactly. which would absorb audio yeah. uh, or any kind of sound waves, I should say. So I'm, I'm looking at the chassis right now. This is the one that's the silver highlights, right? And, uh, and you were explaining to me before that the air actually comes in through that silver, hi silver highlighted area in the, the front panel. Yes. Um, so let's look, let's take a look at some of the sound dampening that you've actually used. Um, it looks like the entire front here that you tip, you might be able to see something like this in a, in a typical case, uh, except that it's filtered after that, and and obviously the wind has to come. I want to say it, it sort of, if I can use hand gestures on this, it sort of comes in through the through the face on both sides and has to kind of bend around the corner there and be sucked in. So essentially the wind's coming exactly, in the front. Yeah. Yeah. Audio has to come straight out, but then it hits the sound dampening before it bounces. Exactly, yeah. The sound dampening is directly in front of the fans, so the sound is trapped right away. Oh, that's but excellent. the air is going around into the case. So. Okay, perfect. Um, we jump back to this one. You can actually see that the, you're using um, some dust filters here. Yes, all of uh, the air intakes uh, are uh, filtered, and the uh, filter is uh, easy to remove. And, and, and washable. Also. Washable, and exactly. So. Okay. Uh, more of the sound dampening, and uh, it looks like uh, that's the actual attachment for where the, what is it, 120 or 140? 120 and 140, yeah. 140 millimeter fan can be attached to this. So, so uh, this is the main panel. Are you having any, any ideas about maybe doing a windowed uh, Panel? Yes, right now uh, for the first um, version we wanted to have a very silent one, so okay. we didn't have, um, yeah, we didn't plan a window version right now. But okay. yeah, something in the future. Time possibly. will tell. I'm sure we will have a window version. Perfect, yeah. perfect. So obviously the the fan attaches. And you're actually showing me this isn't a typical attachment area, other than the massive amount of sound dampening that you have all around it. Uh, this 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 sort of just has a, a three different settings you were mentioning to me. Yes. It actually. Uh, let in more airflow and obviously let more audio out, but then yeah, the exactly. For, for yeah, airflow. you can either close it up completely or you to open it uh, in two more steps. And uh, it depends on if you have like we call it performance setup. Mm -hmm. um, then you just uh, yeah, for graphics cards, for example, you know they <laughs> uh, generate a lot of heat, and uh, sometimes it's good to have a little more air inside. And of course, you also have um, a filter in front of uh, the intake. So. Removable filter that you can also take exactly. care of. Exactly. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, here's, a, here's a look at the back of the chassis itself. And uh, we, we can see that there's, looks like there's air intake for both top and bottom, actually exhaust on the top, I'm imagining, and intake at the bottom for the That's correct. power supply. Is that, that bottom area, is that chambered separately than the rest of the chassis then? Yeah, the, the bottom one is completely uh, separate from the rest. So if you uh, install the power supply with a fan to the bottom, you can have uh, and own uh, air circulation over there. Excellent. Okay, and uh, just so you guys can get a look at the back of it there, I'll jump up to the looks like the top of the chassis, and that's your your power switch as well as the 
the front panel uh, header connection for USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 and exactly, yeah. uh, 3.5 millimeter mic. And um, yeah, you see the launch button in the middle and the front is the HDD LED and it's also a hidden uh, reset button. Oh, hidden reset button. Where hidden, hidden like recessed, or hidden like as in I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the front LED there um, in front the of the button, button is the, actually the reset button. Oh, good. That is that is very well hidden. Thank you very much for that, Chris. <laughs> hidden in plain sight. Yeah. <laughs> um, we also talked about uh, those slits in the back. I believe those are the uh, that's going to be the exhaust. It's where they are actually exactly. Escapes. Yeah. And once again, maybe m not the best for airflow, but best for for sound dampening. Exactly. The so, sound cannot uh, go directly out um, there is again a few angles inside that um, the air is uh, is being able to go out uh, but the sound sound has a little bit more trouble getting like, out exactly okay uh, so we'll go to the next picture so this is clearly the naked chassis with uh, without all of its uh, its panels on board um, and I noticed also that the front panel header here is is or the front panel IO is actually all separated from yeah. Uh, the chassis uh, top panel, so you can yeah. just basically just remove that that off. I think, um, and uh, yeah, with most cases today, uh, if you remove the uh, the top cover and you want to install your radiator, then uh, the top cover just hangs uh, around because it's attached to the cables, and uh, we just uh, made it under. Uh, uh, Make it removable. Make removable without it being attached to that. Uh, exactly. That so panel. you That's can just remove the whole top cover, and uh, you have uh, free space. So let's talk about radiator, uh, radiator rads being able to be connected to these different attachment points. So it looks like uh, the top here, you've got at least uh, a 240. Can it go up to 280? Exactly. It can? Okay. 280 is okay. the maximum, yeah. And it looks like you have different, uh, you have slots for the screw so that this way you have a, quite a bit of movement for you the You can adjust, yeah, exactly. If you, for some reason, have a uh, little space uh, inside of the case, and you can just uh, move it to okay. the side. And I'm, I'm assuming then you can also attach for a push-pull because there's an area here you can put the fans of the radiator in. Yeah, exactly. You have a little space on top, uh, so you can either um, have the radiator mounted in the bottom with the, with their fans and some fans on the top, or if you don't want push-pull, uh, then you can also just mount the fans on top, for example, and just the radiator inside. So. Excellent. And towards the bottom of the chassis there near the power supply, uh, can you also attach another radiator there as well? Um, in the bottom, uh, the, not in the bottom, uh, basically, but uh, because there is no space uh, with the hard drives beside. If you remove the hard drives, yes, you definitely have space if the power supply is not that long. Okay, so you just got to uh, take that into consideration like most cases, exactly, that's yeah. fine. But uh, yeah, you have in the front and in the back also space for 120 uh, in the back or 120 or 140 in the front. Okay, and 140 in the front, that was my, my, my next question for <laughs> yes. you. Okay, so. Um, move forward again, and this is actually where we can see all of the different bays. You have the five and quarter bays, and then all the hard drive cages as well. Are all of those removable? Yeah, all of them re removable, um, which is important today for longer graphics cards. Yeah, yeah, definitely it is, and and also if you just want to have some more customizability in your in your chassis. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and I noticed also that the rubber grommets you have maybe maybe sort of. Uh, uh, just a slightly different, instead of the starfish pattern, you've got just a couple of, of wavy doors. I don't know what to call that. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's call it that way, yeah. Okay, wavy doors? All right, now you guys know what to call it. I'm sure there's a real name for that, and I apologize for not knowing it. Uh, then that's a close-up, actually, of the bottom where you can actually see, where you can mm. attach uh, maybe at least fans. 140 exactly. millimeter fans at the very Yeah, end. 120 or 140, yeah. Okay, excellent. And then there's the actual, uh, if you flip it around, that's the actual back where the motherboard base plate is attached. Yeah, uh, get there's a, a lot of space, a lot of space in the back. I mean, you have a, a large CPU cutout uh, if you want to change um, the cooler, and a lot of space for cable routing. For cable management, that's always very important. You just definitely don't want to smash anything. And I know you have a couple pictures too, just to illustrate what it would look like if you had systems uh, inside both the front and the back. So that's that's fantastic, Chris. Uh, thank you so much for showing this. And once again, uh, I should say, for once and for all, we should apologize that we don't actually have the chassis in. There were some issues with shipping. So this was the best and easiest way we could actually show you guys what uh, Be Quiet is, has in store for you. So stay tuned for more stuff. I'm sure we'll get something like this in the studio and, and get a very well, soon, I hope, yes. The Very case well. is available um, in October, so we will have uh, samples here before to show. Excellent. Uh, one last thing, any closing thoughts about uh, the new direction of the company or anything else you want to talk about? Um, yeah, I think uh, with the case, uh, it, it means a lot to us because we are very uh, good with power supplies. And um, yeah, a case was a really cool step into this direction. I really hope that uh, it will bring us uh, into the minds of uh, the American consumer as well. And um, yeah, let's let's wait and see how okay. it's uh, being accepted. 
Well, thank you so much for coming in. Wish you the best, Chris. We really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, yeah. No problem. Thank you guys also for watching today's video. Don't forget to stay tuned for more videos just like this at youtube.com forward slash Newegg. And until then, we'll see you guys very soon.